Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a really cool White Scars Primaris Army Commission, which we've recently completed. We're going to dive into this and have a look at all these awesome models in more details. We're back in a second. Stick around. First up, we're going to have a look at the Primaris Librarian who leads this White Scar detachment. Uh, really cool model, uh, like the way that he's uh, moving forward and advancing and using the power and obviously carrying a power a force weapon as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, so let's just have a look at him in a bit more closer detail, just get to focus for you guys. And you can see Kev, who's worked on the project, has had a lovely time enjoying working on this super clean project. Uh, you've got the, all the areas of excellent detail work on this great model, little padlocks, keys, and all those other bits and bobs you'd expect with any librarian. Uh, but obviously on this uh, Primaris Librarian and that lovely blended sword there as you can see with the darker and lighter portions as well. A little bit of a, of a gloss to it as well just to give it that super sheen which is really really nice. Uh, you've got all the bone work there as you can see on the shoulder, on the wrist and on the pommel, oh, sorry, the uh, uh, scabbard of the sword as well all picked out. Uh, if you can get my words out then. And <laughs> and uh, you've got the bone on the sort of uh, belt buckle bit as well done with the lovely pristine purity seals and parchments as well and uh, lovely amounts of text and script on those purity seals as well as you can see there on the side of his um, of his sort of coat and also on the uh, rear of the backpack as well and you've got this really really cool sort of blue glow in his eyes as well showing that power uh, ensuing from within which is really really cool I do incidentally really like the fact that they've kept the, the sort of symbols and, and sort of filigree from a lot of the earlier librarians on these new Primaris models I think little touches like that really keep them in line with the, uh, the the historic nature of the range as well the space marines which is really really cool uh, but there we have it the uh, Primaris librarian from this awesome awesome white scar force stick around because up next we've got a lot of infantry coming and some heavy hitters at the very end of the video so stick around for all that it's coming up very very soon see you guys in the next section. Up next we have all of the infantry from this uh, commission and there are two different squads which can obviously be separated down into four combat squads uh, but I've amalgamated them into two 10-man squads just for ease of display and for you guys to see them in all their glory. Uh, on the right obviously we have an intercessor squad and on the left we have some reavers. Uh, so let's dive in and have a look at these. The uh, intercessors, really cool model, obviously one of the new um, one of the new sort of models from the Primaris range uh, but obviously the, the tactical choice if you're going to go with all the different weapons options that they have which is really really cool different types of bolters and again as you can see here Kev's done a lovely lovely super pristine clean finish on these guys as well where you can see very subtly the super bright white highlights on the armor which is lovely again he's just uh, checking his wrist mounted uh, little computer and uh, obviously got his pistol and his bolt rifle out there as you can see uh, really really cool skin tones achieved on these models as well which is really really nice Kev's done a stellar job on them uh, so that's just one of the uh, intercessors we'll pull forward the sergeant because he's obviously very very cool as you can see the commanding away telling these guys to get stuck in which is uh, brilliant uh, do like the uh, auto bolt rifle as well there just with a big magazine on it as well which is really really nice so that's just him uh, really really cool sergeant just extra little details they're all fully picked out and highlighted as well as you can see for example the pouches and holster uh, plus obviously the very very contrasting red uh, helmet that he's got as well there so that's just him pull forward another one of the guys with his blades drawn as well there looking to take someone out which is really cool and uh, again very very commanding sort of pose there as well these new Primaris models are exceedingly big which is really really nice as well as you can see there so that's just him uh, we'll pull forward a few of the standard guys that have got bolt guns or bolt rifles should I say again here as you can see really 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 cool finish with lovely contrasting green lenses on them and Kev's done a lovely bit of gloss on them as well just to give them that extra little sheen on top of all the sort of blending and uh, point of light source that those lenses do have uh, so that's just uh, him uh, and then let's move across to the other side and have a look at these awesome Reavers uh, really cool models uh, very menacing and uh, filling a lovely sort of scouting sort of kind of close combat roll within the force uh, again he is a sergeant with his blade drawn as you can see there and all the extra areas of plastic sort of armor in between the joints all highlighted there like on the um, stomach area and uh, got obviously like a bony kind of like face mask as well to match with the red helmet as you can see there 
moving around obviously some purity seals he's got a different pistol located in his back as well which is nice and he's obviously got a couple of computer screens there on his wrist as well just to give him tactical updates as he's uh, fighting forward uh, or behind enemy lines so that's just the sergeant and then we'll pull forward a few more and have a look at this dude here with a bare head which is really nice he's uh, seen better days with that great big scar that he's got on his uh, head there but again very very menacing with those uh, skull sort of face masks as well which is really nice uh, again really really cool dynamic sort of charging pose on him as well which is really really cool so that's just the, another one uh, and then we'll pull forward a few more from the squad so you can see again really really cool here again he's firing using his blades a bit of a guard as well which is nice uh, so that's just him again all the pouches and extra details fully highlighted there as you can see uh, super super clean white finish as well which is really really nice uh, and then we'll pull forward another one let's pull forward the one with the grappling hook as well which is really really cool again a bit a uh, bit careful when obviously transporting these but a uh, really really cool uh, extra detail on this and gives them a bit of integration as well which is really nice he's firing that away ready to climb up something uh, so that's just him moving around you can see obviously around the back of him and the super super clean finish on these guys and the consistent finish across all the force as well so that's just him and then uh, we'll have a look at one more from the Reaver unit just this guy shooting I think just so you can have a look at him uh, slightly different pose but again really really cool commanding pose there as he's uh, about to sort of charge or something which is really really nice so that's just him uh, up next we're going to be having a look at all the heavy hitters from this force and there's some inceptors coming and there's some hell blasters so lots of plasma death coming check out and stick around it's coming up next Up next, we have all of the uh, Hellblasters and also the Inceptors. Really cool models from the Force and decked out with loads of plasma, as you can see from the glowing areas of the guns. Uh, so we'll start by looking at some of the um, Hellblasters, first of all. Really cool models, obviously wielding the different Hellblaster variants that they've got. As you can see here, this guy is about to uh, shoot some away into oblivion. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, we'll pull forward a selection of the Hellblasters so you can have a look at them in a bit more detail. Let's just grab the Sergeant from the squad here, as you can see, all the areas of highlighting done even on this white uh, the white of the armor is again a uh, off-white color with a very nice crisp super bright white edge highlight as well uh, and as you can see that all the gems and little lenses all picked out on him if i just get that to focus for you guys so you can see uh, all of his little uh, wrist mounted sort of uh, computer things all picked out as well which is lovely and a lovely subtle plasma glow just there on the uh, on the glen as well so that's just a sergeant and pull forward one more of these dudes so you can have a look at him then you can really cool skin tones done on these as well uh, with lots of contrast added to them to make them look very gritty as well which is really nice so that's just one of the plasmas and hellblasters uh we'll pull forward uh, from the other ones as well just very much the same as you can see here here's the other sergeant all the areas of detail work fully picked out got a bionic arm on this dude as well uh, again really nice crisp highlighting on that white armor in the lighting in here is obviously very bright but they are all edged as you can see if you just look at the bottom of the leg there you can see the edge highlight all picking out uh, on those white areas of armor paneling uh, little details all picked out those pouches and bits and bobs on there the skull on there as well all highlighted so that's just him pull forward another one just so you can have a look at him again all the skin tones just there really nice and crisp and super clean as well as you can see there so that's just him Again, lovely, lovely models, really, really cool, big details on them, which is great. Uh, and then we'll start having a look at some of these really cool uh, Inceptors. As you can see here, he's coming down there with double plasma to give someone a very bad day. Uh, but Kev's gone in and done a lovely, super clean, vibrant color scheme on this uh, White Scar Commission. Uh, moving around just the back so you can see all the metal work that's been picked out uh, and areas of detail work there, as you can see, which is really, really nice. So that's just uh, one of the Inceptors. Pull forward the Sergeant here as well, so you can have a look at him with his uh, extra red details just to dis denote him uh, again double plasma on him lovely loadout really really cool amounts of details on this guy all the little dials buttons and bits and bobs on him as well uh, which is really nice so that's just him and then we'll pull forward the last dude that literally looks like he's coming down on top of someone and giving them an exceedingly bad day so that's just him there as you can see all the areas of detail again picked out uh, and around lovely amounts of metal work all highlighted and done as well which is really really cool so that's just uh, another one of the inceptors which is really nice so that's them uh we're going to, come, going to finish up now with uh, an overall shot of the army again just so you guys can see in all of its glory so stick around it's coming back very shortly Thanks for checking the video out guys, really appreciate it ever so much. I do hope you like this White Scars Army Commission. Uh, if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then very simply all you need to do is go to the description of this video where our website is linked 
click on that link and head to the website and go to the contact tab found at the top right. Once you're on that tab, there's a very simple selection of uh, drop down boxes which you need to select which are relevant to your permission. Plus also in the message section, put as much information about your project for us. We'll come back to you and get the ball rolling. Uh, also, all of our social media can be found in the description as well, Twitter, Instagram, and also Facebook. If you can please give us a follow on all of those to keep up to date with everything that's happening here at the studio. Uh, for example, new projects, also courses and other things which we do, different conventions and other things like that. So I do hope you can give us a cheeky follow one of those and while you're here on YouTube give the video a thumbs up drop below in the comments what your favorite white scar character is and why and also give us a subscribe while you're on here to keep up to date with all the videos that we put out of the different projects which we complete thanks so much for watching again and I'll see you on the next one take care bye bye